Seriously? That is inappropriate. Tractors are not supposed to mate on my channel. <laughs> what the heck? All right, guys, uh, welcome back. It's the next day in real life for me. And uh, let's see, what do we have left to do? We have three fertilizing contracts and two harvesting contracts. Both of these are sugar beets. They're both going to Johnson's Market, which is good because then we don't have to worry about separating the fields. So let's go ahead and uh, get this started. I think I'm going to have... Oops. I think I'm going to have the AI um, at least get started on this. And speaking of which, let's also... Uh, let's go into here, and I need to bring a tractor down here to the yard. So let's grab uh, you. You're, you. We'll use you. Create job. Go to. Just come down here to the yard. Uh, so you can pick up. Tra he can pick up the trailer. We'll grab the header here. Okay, so let's see. Our fields again are 22 and 42. Let's do the smaller one first, get it knocked out. So 22 is, where is 22? Uh, right up there. Uh, okay. Oh, you stupid AI worker. What's your problem? What's your problem, man? Where is it at? Oh, it's probably bumped into something over here. All right. Um, I, all right. Change plans. I don't suppose I can hitch up to this trailer with this, can I? I doubt it. Let's see what happens. Nope. Okay. Didn't think so. Well, let's go back to our to the farm and so we can free up the tractor and maybe I wonder if the AI can drive this up to the field probably as long as they don't derp out on us too badly. And then we'll go grab the trailer and meet him up there. gonna see whoops I get them going this direction will they stay on this road or yeah you know what though this road doesn't go all the way through I'll bet you that'll confuse them we better keep them on the main road here they're not that smart they just aren't Okay, let's stop here. Go to the worker menu, grab the panther. Great job. Go to, and then I want you to go up to field 22. Oh boy, let's just have you, let's just see if you can get to here. I'm not even sure that that's gonna happen, but we'll see what they do. Oh, there's a car coming. <laughs> what happened? All right. I don't know. Maybe they're going to have some problems with that. Change plans. Let's get the tractor freed up. Yeah, they just ran straight into the back of the baler. Dummies.
I really like this little John Deere. Wage payment. What? You're charging me and you didn't even do anything. Oh! Car! <laughs> Hello! Man, that scared me. Okay, um, let's grab you. Create a job, go to, to the store, and just park right here. When you get there, I'll hop over to you. And uh, we will get the trailer hooked up. We're going to take a little bit of a shortcut. Look at this machine, man. This is cool. Not a very big header, though. I'm just going to cross over here. Can we kind of cheat a little bit and go through the woods here or not? I don't know. Let's find out. Well, actually, I think this is the road we're supposed to take anyway. better have the worker go uh, they're gonna have have a little bit of trouble with that tree I'll bet you unless we start them on this end maybe we might have to do the first row or two wow there's not a not a lot of room to maneuver here with this big machine is there let's back up through here okay get the header down need to unfold the harvester uh, okay there and there that thing man very cool okay looks like we're ready I think what I'm gonna do is maybe do these first couple of rows before I turn this over to the AI and go get the trailer because I'm just afraid they're going to get hung up on that tree on the end there, if, you know, if I don't do that. So let's let's go ahead and do that. Very similar to how we did our own beats, except for this is an, an all-in-one or a self-propelled machine instead of, um, you know, being pulled by a tractor, which is what we used. Probably what we should do here is back all the way up and then come at it again. Just because there's just not that much room to turn around on that end of the field. It's 
pretty amazing, these farming machines that us humans have invented. All the cool, cool stuff they can do. Uh, Alright, we might be able to swing around to get this one now. Let's go down and back one more time and then we'll turn it over to the AI and go grab the trailer. We are 22% full. I might even start them going the long ways now that there's a bit of a headland down here. I don't know, we'll see. We got, well, if we're going to do that, we need to go look and see what the other end of the field looks like first, if there's enough room for them to maneuver. Yeah, let's drive down to that end and just see what it looks like. There's a little more room on this end. Let's let's cut at least one row for him. Actually, you know what? I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Let's just teleport to this guy really quick. Because again, in a real life situation, he'd come down here, hook up to the trailer and drive to me. But unfortunately in, in the game, they they don't know how to do that. So we have to kind of help him out a little bit. This doesn't look like a very big trailer. Hmm, I wonder how many loads that's gonna take. If the uh, Man, we might have to. I might end up leasing another trailer because this is re actually a really small trailer. Okay, so let's do this. Let's uh, go back to here. Go to here. Do crate job. Go to. And you just come right here. Let's see if you can make it. Make it up there on your own. AI says so the target is unreachable. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, we're going to have to bring him to a, an easier place to get. Oh, let's see. Okay, so create job, go to. Can you just get to here? Maybe even here. There he goes. Okay. Let's get back to the harvester. Man, a really tight field here. Ah! <laughs> Come on, Bertha. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I might have to do this entire harvest just because this field is everything is so tight here. We'll we'll let them try it and we'll just see what they do. I'll just keep cutting wider headlands while we're waiting for that dude to get here. Okay, so it looks like the pipe. Is on this side. But what I'm gonna do is get everything lined up over here. 98, 99, and 100. Okay, so let's back up to here. We'll go get the trailer, get that started.
Oh, where did I send you? <laughs> I thought I was sending you up a driveway, not like a trail. Uh, can we get up this hill? Yeah, we should be able to. Uh, well, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Stupid tree in the way. Uh, what's over here? Okay, let's see if we can back up and go up through here. Yeah, I didn't realize this was just like a little path. I thought it was an actual driveway. There we go. Okay. I think we might have to put a driver in here unless there it goes oh my word that's filling it up fast that's it okay So this trailer doesn't even take half of the capacity of the harvester. Yeah, I think we're going to go rent a larger trailer, you guys. But here's what we're going to do. Uh, let's let's get it. Let's get the AI started on the field so they can just keep going and at least fill us up further. And hopefully, you know, hopefully they can keep going. And, you know, they don't get stuck or anything is what I mean. Okay. Don't screw up. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take this. Where are we taking this again? Uh, Johnson's Farmer Market. Okay. So let's drop this off at Johnson's, and then we're going to go to the store and lease a larger trailer, because otherwise, I have a feeling like this is going to take forever and 10 years with this little dinky trailer. Why Why do they give us such a stupid small trailer to do this job? I don't know, man. In fact, now that I think about it, this trailer and the harvester was actually is actually for the larger field that we still have to do, so even more so, you know? Okay, they probably want the beets on the ground, not in the silo. We'll dump them out and they'll come out with the front loader and do whatever they're going to do with them. At least we have to assume that's what's going to happen. 5%? Really? Yeah, we... <laughs> Oh my goodness. We need a bigger trailer, guys. Absolutely good. A bigger trailer. We're going to lose a little bit of money having to lease it, but this is going to take forever. Can you believe that? 5%? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to go back to home and get the JCB, which is a bigger tractor anyway, and then go get a big trailer. We, we could still use this guy, too. In fact, we'll, maybe what we'll do is we'll drive have the AI drive this one back to the field. We might as well run him too. Um, yeah, but I'm going to drive back home first and get the JCB. So I'll meet you guys back up at the field. I have a feeling like this is going to be a long night. It's already been a long day. I didn't think the <laughs> this beet harvest was going to take this long, but I think I was wrong about that. Okay, I think we're going to get this Wilson trailer. It does handle sugar beets, as we can see from the icon there. And it has 45,000 uh, liters. 
Uh, what about this one? Or, you know, that is, the, that is the one we're looking at, isn't it? This one doesn't do beats. Um, anything else? I mean, a couple of these over here will do it too, but I think we're just getting a little bit too expensive. What's the least cost on this thing? It is 34.68. Okay. We could also potentially do this one. What's its least cost? 34.68. This is another $1,200. For how much more space? 52. Eh. 45 or 52. What should we do? Lots of room in there, isn't there? Uh, let's go with the 45. I think that feels like the right move. Okay, now let me just double check. This does do sugar beets. Okay, we don't want to buy the wrong thing, or at least the wrong thing. Ain't nobody got time for that, man. Okay. Yeah, that's a little bit better sized trailer. We sent the AI uh, in the, with the smaller trailer back up there. Uh, let's see, where are we going? We're going back around this way. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm going to block that guy so he can't go anywhere. Let's go here and grab you. Create job. We want you to, oh yeah, we could, we could actually have these guys deliver for us too. That's actually really good. That means we can just keep harvesting then once they get set up. All right. I want you to just come over to here I guess can you do that it looks like he is at least going, he's at least going to try to what where, where are you going that direction okay well whatever all right now let's back you up oh the workers still in there okay yeah, we got it. We're going to have to get rid of him because it's not letting me control the vehicle here. We have to get it out of the crop so when we pull the trailer up, it doesn't crump, crush the crops. Now, I know it's not going to because it's not our field, but I'm just trying to be realistic here. Okay, now, if I put the worker back in there... No, we're not going to do that. We're going to have the we're going to harvest. We're going to have the worker deliver. Right. Okay. So, you just sit there for a minute. You're who I want. Okay. Now we'll bring you up the hill. Can we actually send him right up through here? Looks like it. Nice. Oh, the truck will load for us. Okay, good. I hope we're not losing any of those beats. Okay, now, I think we better put this guy out on the road. I don't trust him to go through the Thule's. So let's bring him over here at least. Uh, looks like we're going to have to come around this way. Now, we want you to uh, if, 
If we set him to load and deliver, I think that's only for silo fixed in you know like a silo that's in fixed in place. It probably isn't going to work for him to load and deliver. Yeah, it has to be a station, right? Okay, that's fine. So your unloading station is Johnson's. Um, why isn't Johnson's coming up? Or have we just not gotten there? There we go. Okay, Johnson's Farmer's Market. That's the unloading station. Why do you need a... A load, oh, loading position. That's where we want him to come back to. Yeah, okay, that works. All right, so I want your loading position to be right at the end of the field here. There they go. All right, let's see if they can actually do the do it. <laughs> it's, ask, it's asking a lot of them, man, but uh, we'll see what happens. All right, let's go grab the next dude, and we'll do the same with him. What what's our next field after this? Our next field is forty two. Where's that at? 42 here oh okay this is going to be a lot better to work with because it's going to be much more open so ah crap it's already says he's blocked uh like how badly blocked uh oh we got to be on here Oh, he's he's just blocked by our other guy that we have to get out of his way. Okay, that <laughs> I'm going. What in the world? Uh, let's see. We need to go back down here. Yeah, because we parked that other guy right on the on the road. That's our fault. Can't blame that one on the dumb AI. Uh, where are we going? I got sidetracked. I'm getting lost in the woods now. Here we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to start him over again. You guys are so dumb. You could have plenty of space to get around there, man. What the heck? <sighs> okay, so let's start you up. Come on. Seriously? Okay. There we go. Okay, you stay there. Now we have to start this guy's job over again. So the John Deere create job, deliver Johnson's Farmer's Market. Did it, it kept the loading position. Okay, so we can just tell him to start from here. Good. All right, have at it, man. Don't spill those beets. Let's get this guy up here. This trailer's going to hold a lot more. A bit better for... But we have to pay for it. I think it's worth it, though. Otherwise, we're going to be at this for so long. It might take us all night. Okay, so let's see if we can pull through here. Okay, we'll get the front filled up first. Oh, that's it for you. Okay. Um, I th think we'll keep this dude here for now until we can give him a full load. Might as well. Are we hitting that tree? Oh, we're hitting the... 
branches, that's what we're doing, okay. All right, you stay there. Okay, back to harvesting. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is put the AI to work, and I want to go check on the other guy and see how he's doing. He's getting there. Dude, how come you don't have all your lights on? Okay, so he should unload all by himself. That's the theory anyways. I'm not doing anything. Hands free. <laughs> Hands and feet free. There he goes. All right. That's working okay. Eleven percent. They're actually applying that towards the bigger field, which is interesting. Um, is your staging spot? Am I going to be in the way of your staging spot? I think I told him to stage here, but he, we might run into a problem. But he, I don't think that'll be a problem until he gets to the field. In which case, we can. Fixed at that point. Yeah, he's heading back. All right. Good for him. That actually worked better than I thought it was going to. Okay, maybe what we'll do here actually is let's get in position for when this guy comes back around because the pipe will be on this side on his return trip. And um, he should load us. So we'll just stay right here and see what happens when he gets over here. Plus, we get out of the way of the other guy when he comes back. This is working better than I thought it was going to, that's for sure. He's got enough room to get turned around because we made the headland, so that's good. Now, my, what I expect he will do is when he gets close to us, he'll stop and throw the pipe out. Or I guess it's the conveyor in this case. And offload whatever he currently has. We'll see, though. Maybe he won't do that until he's completely full. I'm not sure what he's going to do. I might be a little too far out, too. Well, let's just see what happens. Yep, look at that. Uh-oh. Yeah, we were too far away. He was going to load us, though. Okay, that's all right. Let's let him just come around again, and I'll just be a little closer this time. You know, you uh, AI workers helping me with this, you're not quite as dumb as everybody else. Maybe I'll hire you full-time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, we, we got to get a little closer. He certainly tried to, but we just weren't close enough to him. So 
So let's try maybe right about here this time. Thinking that's probably going to be good. Okay, yeah, let's just try sit right here and see what happens. You having some trouble turning around there, buddy? No, it's tight. Oh yeah, he was actually driving over the crop. I wonder if if we're working our own field and I have an AI worker helping me, if the AI worker will damage my crops if he runs over them. I'll bet it doesn't because probably the giants, the de developers probably realize that's going to happen and so they made it so the AI can't screw up your crops. I don't know. We won't know that until sometime we try. Hey, there's our buddy. Look at him. Good for you. I'm so proud of you, man. Definitely going to have to hire these guys. Uh-oh, now am I too close? Uh, I wonder if I was too close that time. Oh, for goodness sakes. Oh, now he's being blocked. Okay, here. I might have been too close that time. Come on, man. Get your lights on. It's dark out in case you didn't notice. Okay, let's put you kind of out of the way of the harvester. We'll bring you up here. Yeah, we're going to try this one more time. It's very difficult to know exactly what the spacing is with the harvester not there. Let's try right here this time. Feels a little far away, but... <coughs> we'll just see what happens. me there you go <laughs> I had to catch him okay we're oh it says max even though it only shows 73 percent why is that is it because the trailer would be too heavy for the tractor Vehicle trailer fill limit is on. It's going to be filled until the max. Allowed weight is oh, it's a weight thing. Oh, okay. It's not a it's not a volume. It's a weight thing because sugar beets are pretty heavy. Okay, we're gonna we'll play with that because that's realistic. I mean, you wouldn't in real life, or I, well, you shouldn't in real life overload that. Um, but since we while we have control of the harvester. Let's do this. Let's get the big guy going. Over to Johnson. So create job. We want you to deliver to Johnson's Farmer's Market. And I want your loading position to, to just be here, kind of out of the way. And I want you to loop and start job. Is he going to go? There he goes. What do you mean you're blocked by an object? Seriously, dude? Why are you going this way? Oh. He, he is going through the toolies. Look at that guy. <laughs> I'm definitely hiring him full time. That's my kind of dude. Look at him going <laughs> right through the woods. I love it. 
He's off, man. Okay. Fantastic. Now, what we're going to do... Oh, I'm getting lost. Move towards the sound. So we'll put this guy on a path, too, but we'll stage him in a different spot. So he should just come back and wait for us. And we'll run the harvester and load him up. Okay, so yeah, that was a weight limit, not a volume limit, which makes sense. Okay, now, here's what we're going to do. Let's get the harvester back over here and in position. And pull the pipe back in, or the conveyor. Okay, now we're going to go here. We're going to grab the John Deere. Okay, his staging position still... You know what? Let's just have him start from here because everything's already set up. See, I wonder if he'll go through the toolies as well. Okay. Yeah, there he goes. Don't run into a tree. Yep, he made it down to the road. Okay, well, how about the other guy? Where's he at? He's fine. He's going down the... the yep, okay, this is working pretty good, you guys. <laughs> All right. We'll handle the harvesting. All right, something's happened to Dingus and Dumbus. Um, they didn't come back. They probably said, screw this, working in, in sugar beets in the dark. I'm going to go down and have a cold one or something. So where are those dudes at? Okay, so one of them's stuck here. Uh, the John Deere is stuck there. And, oh, actually, Dingus made it back. Never mind. I spoke ill of him, and I shouldn't have. That was, that was shame, shame on me. Uh, I didn't see him there. He's, he's like parked in the dark because they don't put their lights on. So, yeah, he is kind of a dingus. I, com <laughs> I completely didn't see him there. All right, let's go see if we can. Oh, that's what's wrong with dumb dumbass. More like dumbass. <laughs> he's on the fence. Oh, no. This is not good. Uh, all right, you know what? You're fired. Okay, first of all. Secondly... <laughs> Well, the other guy did pretty good so far. You can go now. All right. If you're just going to sit there, you can sit there. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. I've seen it all now, man. All right. Let's see if we can get this guy going again. So we're going to go to here. Create job and just start it up again. Can you stay off the fence this time? I'm going to stay with him until he, it gets to the unloading area and starts tipping the bed back, and then we'll go back to the field. I mean, honestly, I you know, I kind of joke around about this, but it's actually pretty impressive that the AIs can do this, you know, even though they don't do it perfectly, of course. It does save me a heck of a lot of time. You're almost there, buddy. Almost there. There you go. Okay. Let's see if you can make it back in one piece. It is so dark right now. Um, all right. We want to get back to the harvester. Okay, so let's pull around to mo sort of kind of dingus. Not complete total dingus, but sort of kind of dingus. If he just turned his lights on, I wouldn't have known he was there, and then I wouldn't have badmouthed him so much. But, you know, that's his fault, not mine. Okay, so now 
I think what will happen here is... Sorry it's so dark, you guys. Uh, what I could do is yeah, hop out and shine a light for a minute. Yikes. I'm a little bit close, but I, I think the beats are all going in there. Let's um, back up a little bit to the back. Okay, is he is he full? If he's full, he should take off, I think. Because he's supposed to be on looping. No, he's not full. Oh, I'm empty. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, what's, not, what's going on there? Okay. So let's just uh, let him sit there then. I believe he'll take off as soon as we fill him up because he's, like I said, he's set to looping. Okay, let's keep harvesting. We're almost done with this field. Well, if I would put the header down, that is. Hey, look at that. Dumbest made it back. All right, good for you, buddy. All right, that does it for the first field. Uh, let's get uh, Dingus finished filling up here. And he should automatically go off low, but we are going to have to give him a new um, loading point. Why does he go the hard way, though? Is he going through the trees again? No, I think he's just driving around the barn. Okay. Well, I hope so. Uh, all right. So let's load up Dingus. No, not, this is Dumbus. Dingus was the other guy. And see if he'll, if he can manage to get back there this time without being on the fence. There you go, man. You're full. Do me proud. And we shall move to the new field. I'm going to have to try and catch these guys on their return trip, though, so they don't come all the way back up here. All right, the AI should have a lot easier time on this field because there's just a lot less for them to get caught up on. It is also a much larger field too, which is a good thing because more money for us, right? Okay. Have at it, dude. Very good. Okay, now let's see if we can find these guys. Seriously? That is inappropriate. Tractors are not supposed to mate on my channel. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, I, you know, earlier I told you I've seen everything now. I think I take that back. For Pete's sake. Okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Alright, well that we we can't send these guys off to do their thing at the, exactly, you know, the same time, because well, we just saw why. <laughs> okay. Um let's take over for you, because we have to bring you back to the new field now. And we also have to reset your loading uh Loading zone. What are you doing, man? Has everybody 
in this farming world lost their marbles? Okay. You just sit here. Okay. Stop. 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 All right. Where are you at? You are... Oh, he's just... Okay. Yeah, he's good. He's coming back across by the animal dealer. So we caught him in time. Took me a second to figure out where he was. Okay, let's let him get on down the way there. Okay, I want... I'm gonna stage you about halfway down right here. So this is gonna be your staging area. So let's go back to here. Uh, go to here, or grab you, create job, and change your loading position to here. What are you doing? Why didn't you just stay where I told you? He's got to get in the exact right spot. Is he going to go around in circles? Okay. He's good. He's good. Now, let's have Dumbass. Create job, put your loading position right where I'm standing, facing this way. And start job. And you should just drive right over to here and park. Good. And our worker is, <clears throat> excuse me, almost 80% full. Oh boy. This is quite the thing, man. Quite the thing. Dumbest is a girl. <laughs> I didn't know that. Not that it matters. Boy or girl? Doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl. It matters if you... Oh, Dingus is a girl, too. <laughs> it matters if you do the job well or not. Actually, Dingus has been doing a very good job. But, you know, since she's a girl, we're going to have to call her... Dingasa. Dingasa. Dingasita. <laughs> I know I'm getting loopy. I'm actually very tired in real life too. It's the next day and late at night. Um, so I'm not going to be doing this too much longer myself. I don't know if this episode's actually ever going to end though. I mean, it actually is ending because I'm just chopping it up, but it's kind of been just one long recording session for me. Uh, okay, so let's see. We're waiting for the AI to finish filling up the combine or, or the harvester, I guess. I don't know if you would call that a combine. I just, I guess you would because, well, no. It's probably called just a harvester because the combine separates the fruit from the husk. And we've, there is no husk on this. So it's probably just a harvester. No, you know, not that that matters a whole lot. Kind of tempted to go over here and start washing and refueling some of this equipment, but eh, let's at least wait until we get these guys on their way before I start doing that. You gotta be getting close, Ming. I should be able to jump up in there. Oh, look at that. Perfect timing. 100%. Okay, so what we got to do now is take over and drive over to Dingasita and Dumasita. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, we'll start loading this trailer first. You know what? Something just occurred to me. All right, hold on a second. If I send Damasita off first, she'll get through the line and offload way f faster than Dingasita will, and then they won't be doing the the nasty with the with the tractors. So yeah, let's get this one going first. I can't honestly say I've ever seen tractors humping before. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, man. Um, oh, we, we didn't have enough to fill her up either. Okay. No problem. We'll just keep on keeping on here. I think I am going to do that, though. I'm going to put the AI back on the harvester and run over to the house and get started washing some of that other stuff because we got a lot of cleanup to do. And I'm just doing that for fun and for role-playing purposes. I know I don't actually have to, but... Whoops, wrong button. Alright. Get at it. I'll be back. Okay, so this hay pickup trailer is, like, in pristine condition. For some reason... The auto load hay trailers don't seem to get dirty. Which is really odd, but if that's the way it is, that's the way it is. Let's see, you're kind of dirty. But we're gonna need to get the hay trailer out of the way, so let's jump into you. All right, guys, excuse me. We got our next load here. Let's finish filling this one up here. Okay, that should do it. And you should be on your merry way. Now, I don't know what object's blocking you. Maybe it detected that I was in the way or something. I think that's just a visual glitch. I think the front of that trailer is actually full. Okay, now because this is a tractor, we're gonna take this over and refuel it. We didn't use this one hardly at all, so it's not gonna take much at all to fill this back up. There we go, $20. If only these fuel prices were true to life. <laughs> Gas is so expensive this, these days. All right, let's wash this one. Oh, we already washed that tractor. I really like this mower. I'm going to think about getting one of my own because it essentially does the same thing as the big prone, but probably maybe a quarter of the price. How much is this mower, actually? Let's look at that really quick. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm curious. Mowers. So this would be the pot, these two. So for this one and this one, well, you know what, too? We wouldn't even need this one. We could still use our existing. A coon that we have for the front. That's a 3.1 meter. Yeah, we wouldn't even have to buy this at all. 
And that's $75,000 compared to... Uh, $380,000. Yeah, big price difference. And, you know, the net effect is going to be the same at the end of the day. So I don't know if I'll get this immediately, but I'm definitely going to keep my eyes uh, open for it, you know, for coming on sale or something. Okay, I think we're finished with this tractor. That's my tractor there. Oh. We'll just use my tractor to do the baler and the wrapper. And then other than our our uh, beet harvest equipment, we'll have everything cleaned up and back to the shop ready to turn in. Oh, actually, though, if I am going to turn this tractor in, I need to put some gas in it. $83 to fill that guy up. Wow. I've used the JCB and the John Deere the most, so those are gonna Those are gonna be a little more expensive to fill up. But that's that's the deal. Mama Joe said if you're gonna use the town's folks' equipment to do other jobs, then you gotta wash them and fuel them up before you turn them in. Make sure they're in good 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 condition. So that's fair enough. Yes, sir. That is a nice mower. Okay, let's check on. Whoops, check on our workers here. You're ninety-eight percent full. We might as well just stay here because it's ready to fill up again. It's not showing the beats in the front of this trailer. It's really weird. Probably fix itself if I logged out and back in, but I don't feel like doing that yet. Okay, so we have the baler and the wrapper left to clean up, and then everything's taken care of that was over here. And then it'll just be the the stuff we're using for the sugar beets. How did my baler get so cockeyed there? I probably ran into it. Alright, let's get you cleaned up. This baler did some work, man. It's a nice baler. One of the things I like about the square bales is you don't gotta stop. You just keep going. You know, um, so that is definitely one of a few advantages that the square bales have over the roundies. Oh, you know what? We've got a we've got the windrower out at field 71. We got to go and grab too. Forgot about that. At least I'm able to get this done while the. AI's, you know, harvesting the beets for us, so we're kind of killing two birds with one stone here. All right, guys, we are back. Um, so it is uh, the next in-game day, and it's also, I think, two days later in real life for me. Um, I just, I got to, to where there was like one strip left on the field here of sugar beets, and then I, I wrapped it up in real life. I had to get to bed. I was like super tired. <coughs> but because I had finished the contract when I logged back in 
uh, the field's already been replowed and ready to go for the next thing, but we still have the beets themselves. Uh, so we didn't really miss, you know, uh, enough to, to worry too much about. Hold on a second. I gotta move my pedals over a bit. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, go ahead and finish this out. All right. So we're going to pull right here. Dump off the rest of these beats. We might get this unloaded before he gets here. Oh yeah, I think we will. Eighty-eight percent transporter for field twenty-two. Okay. And then our worker buddy. Um, no, actually, I don't want to fold that up because then I won't be able to see if I go into first person anyway. We can fold this up, though. So 12% more of what's in the trailer goes towards the contract, and then the rest will be ours. Contract's finished, and now the money's coming in. That's pretty neat how that trailer... Oh, he's going to run into us. we got to go. Okay, so we made 2,600 bonus dollars off of those beats. I have to say, man, it, it seems so far, anyways, that the Silas contracts are by far the most lucrative ones to do in terms of the bonus money that you get at the end. I mean, that sugar beet harvest, especially on both of those fields, that was a lot of work. That took several in uh, real-time hours to do. And, you know, we got decent contract money out of it, but, you know, $2,600 as a bonus at the end, it's almost not worth it, to be honest with you. Definitely, if I had to choose between a comparable silage contract or even a haying one for that matter and this one I would do the haying so it's interesting to note okay so we're gonna head back to the ranch uh, we're gonna get these vehicles cleaned up and refueled and turned in um, and then I got to get those three fertilizer contracts knocked out we'll check to see if there are any more contracts in fact probably just do that right now. Let me get on the straight here. We'll quickly look and see. No, nothing. Nothing pops up. Okay. That's typical. You used to get the first batch on the first day of the month and then on a rare occasion one or two more might pop up later but not usually. Very good. Okay, I'm going to go hop in my own tractor, knock out those three uh, fertilizer contracts, and when that's done, I'll bring you back, and we will turn in all our contracts and see what the final tally is. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the final tally here. Uh, so we have basically... Uh, netted one hundred thirty thousand five hundred thirty-four dollars here in October, uh, which is beautiful. We started off with eleven something or other, so that's more or less. Well, maybe it was twelve something or other because that's more or less reflected there. And uh, so, yeah, we made thirty, almost thirty-one thousand dollars in just bales alone, which just illustrates once again that bales are really the most, probably the most lucrative contract to do at least out of all of the ones I've done so far. We spent um $13,000 in leasing costs and let's see we spent $1600 in fuel, 32 in seed and 36 ish in fertilizer 
However, I have some seed and fertilizer left over. So those, you know, some of those numbers, we still have a little bit of that left over. Uh, we made 32.85 from the sugar beets, which was eh, not that impressive compared to this number. And let's see, the total contract income was 137.386. That's after, you know, I th well, I don't know if the leasing costs, where's the leasing costs again? Vehicle leasing costs, 13.776. That I wonder if that's rolled up into there because let's see, what did we lease? We leased, well, I don't know. It's hard to say because I leased a cultivator. I leased a big trailer and a plow. And I want to think probably all that money is just from those direct leases and not. So probably the contract income subtracts what, um, you know, the each one of the owners subtracted from using their equipment. And I'm pretty sure that's the way that works. Uh, we spent $27,000 and $39 on, on workers. So that's a pretty big chunk of change. But again, I think it was completely worth it with as much work as we had to do. You know, they were just an invaluable help, even though they were pretty derpy a lot of times. <laughs> so, yeah, not too bad. Pulled in 130 grand, man. Beautiful. So that leaves us at 142,000. And um, so I'm going to kind of sit on that money for the moment. Uh, you know, we definitely want to keep purchasing land. And probably, I mean, if we wanted to, we could grab these two fields right now, or we grab this field. And we, I don't, we don't quite have enough to get all three of them, but um, I'm trying to decide if I want to do that right now or wait maybe until after we we sell all of our product. Uh, we've got three big sales coming up. We've we've got, uh, well, actually, now that I think about it, between now and January, November, December. So we're we're gonna have three more batches of greenhouse pro produce to sell between now and then. Okay, so we've got that, which is going to bring in some money. Uh, we've got our oats that we're going to sell uh, in January, and then we'll have, you know, one silage harvest that we'll be able to do in January. So we have those three uh, things coming up. So oats will sell. Oh, no, it looks like we'll sell our oats in December. Oh, I'm glad I looked at that because I assumed that January was the month to sell like it is for most everything else. But no, okay, we want to sell our oats in December. Let's just check this, make sure everything's good. Uh, silage will sell in January, okay? What about, um, see, the thing is about the produce, tomatoes, lettuce, and strawberries. I mean, they all sell the best in January. <laughs> But I would, you know, that's not the kind of thing that you can just store year round. I mean, I guess if we had some kind of a cold storage, we could hang on to it for a little bit. But you can't grow strawberries in February and then store them for 11 months and sell them in January in real life. <laughs> that isn't going to work. So I think with the produce, you know, it's just we're just going to pretty much sell it monthly unless we can come up with a realistic uh, cold storage solution, which isn't going to happen anytime soon. Uh, so, the, yeah, so the produce is just going to get sold every month for now. But we will get the highest price for all three of those things in January, which uh, is going to be nice. All right, you guys. Well, I think I'm going to let you go here. And uh, there isn't anything else to do for today. This is what's on sale. Nothing I really am inclined to buy. I guess this uh, Rosselmosh cultivator would be kind of nice to have. Um, actually, it would be nice to have. It's a it's a 12.2 meter. We do quite a bit of cultivating contracts. And so if we bought this, you know, then we wouldn't have to use theirs. And, you know, as we continue to expand our fields, we're going to need, you know, more and more. We're going to need cultivating for that. 64% off. I, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we should do that. I'm thinking maybe we should do that. Yeah, let's do it. That That's a nice big cultivator, too. All right, we're going to do it. We're buying it. Okay, there we go. This is a spader, which I guess is another kind of plow. Um, Yeah. Don't need that. 
Uh, we don't need this, and this is a big, ginormous header, which we already have a too big of a header for our combine right now anyway, so we don't need that either. Very cool. All right, well, hey, I guess we're the proud owners of a uh, shiny new used cultivator. Let's go pick it up and take a look at it real quick before we let you go. There she is. Look at that thing, man. Awesome. Let's unfold it for a second just to see how, how big it actually is. Nice. Okay. I like it. I like it. So yeah, we'll be able to use this on our own fields and we'll be able to use it for the many, many cultivating contracts that come up all the time. And uh, I'm glad we picked this up. That brings us down to $106,525 now, but I think this was a good, a good buy. A smart move. In fact, is this the, the biggest cultivator there is? I don't know. We'll have to take a look at the shop. But anyways, guys, uh, it is, yeah, now it's time to wrap up the episode. <laughs> so my plan is to sleep through the rest of the day, October 2nd, wake up on October 3rd. If this hay is ready to harvest on October 3rd, this little field here, then we'll do our, our hay, our silage. If it isn't, uh, we have to do our produce regardless because we always, you know, the, the plan moving forward, as I've mentioned already, is that we do our produce on the third day of each month since we have three-day months in this playthrough. Man, i got to figure out where I'm going to put this thing. I definitely don't have an indoor spot to put it. Uh, oh, you guys were mentioning to me, too, about putting the header under the eaves that it would get drip, dripped on when the rain, but there's a rain gutter there, see? That we're good to go. It's not going to get dripped on during the rain. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good point, though. Um, maybe what we should do is tuck this guy back in the corner over here. Whoops. For now. Um, yeah, I just don't have any. I need to get some sheds going, man. And I will. Uh, I definitely. Oh, you know what? We could actually probably put this right over here. I will. Definitely, we're going to get some sheds and stuff going at some point, but. I still don't think that's the highest priority. I think the highest priority for us right now is to purchase equipment like this when it comes on sale um, and to buy land. Those are really high priorities. There we go. All right. I love it. We got a cultivator. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.